Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayvon's RV Center here to congratulate you on your Jayco Pinnacle 38 FLGS. You guys have picked a beautiful unit here. I'm going to walk you through it, show you how to use a few things to try to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite and a few things to take into consideration when parking. All right, on our campsite, we've got a slide coming out, but we've also got two big awnings. So leave plenty of room for the awnings to come in and out. On our off campsite, of course, we've got our slides, but I also want you to think about where your power and water connections are gonna be. Your power cord is on a big reel. Here in your back corner, on your driver's side of your tow vehicle or off campsite. And then your water and power or water and docking station this is all going to be right up here toward the front. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once we arrive and unhook our hitch, hitch panel will go over this auto leveling system with you to get your hitch out. Turn this on. We're going to hold our up and down arrows at the same time. Now turn on our green light. And this one here, we're simply just going to touch auto level. Now when we do, your front is going to dip almost all the way to the ground before running down your auto leveling system. Once it does, you come back up in here and you'll just be able to push up to bring your front legs up or down. You know, you'll raise all of your front legs up, get yourself as level as you can. Once your units are all level and stable, we can hook up our power and water. Again, your power cord plugs in here in the rear corner. Big long 50 amp cord. Stores this side here, simply just pull it out, and then when you're ready to retract it, have one hand, one hand holding the uh, cord, and the other hand running your power in. That way you can feed it back and forth to get it to run in there nicely. You got a 50 to 30 amp reducer that comes to your convenience pack, as well as a 30 to 15 amp in case you need to plug into a 110. All right, you got your power hooked up. Let's go ahead and do your water. Pretty simple system in these. Four knobs to turn and a nice diagram to show you how to do it. At campsites, we're going to hook up to city water connection. White down, green to the left, red up, blue. We're matching that. Then we're going to grab our water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit. Always use this when putting water into your unit. Hook it up here to where it says city water connection. Hook up our hose. Make sure we match city water. One more step. We're going to come around. To our trauma water system. One thing on this door here. Got them flaps, you can just let it set like that. But don't pull all the way down, you'll break them off. Simply lift that up and they'll hang by those straps. Inside here will be our filter. I'll send a separate video from Trauma on that. Show you how to hook that up. Just make sure your filter's in and turn your power on. Then we can go ahead and turn that hose on. Now that that hose has been on for a little bit, I want you to go inside and open up your slides. Our unit's level and stable. Get in there, open up your slides, because I need you to get in there and open up all of your water taps. Get all your water lines opened up, get a nice steady flow of water going through them. 
all the air out of the lines, then shut them off. Then you'll know that you can turn on your hot water heater from indoors. Now let's say we're going to go camping and we're going to go boondocking or dry docking, dry camping. In that case, we got a two-step process to use our fresh water tank. We're going to start by filling it. White down, green left, red up, blue down. Same way, fill, fill your uh, fresh water tank here at this spot. However, what you're going to do is go inside where you watch the levels of your tanks, your black and gray tanks, there's also a fresh water. Watch that fresh water. Once it's full, remove that hose. Then switch to all these to dry camping. White, green and red up, blue here. Now we're set for dry camping. Whenever you want to utilize that water, you'll turn on your water pump. You can turn it on here, or you can turn it on from indoors. All right, we're all set up with power and water. Let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit, continuing here in the docking station. There are more directions for your auto leveling system, in case you ever forget. Cable and satellite connections. Up here, you're prepped for solar. You can plug in a solar panel right there and that'll trickle charge your batteries. Again, your water pump. You do have this long hose spray port that'll connect here as well on the other side of the unit to spray your unit off. All of our connections, winterizing and sanitizing here. Here's our city and freshwater intake. This is where we'll use our black tank flush. We'll talk about that when dumping our black and gray tanks. Freshwater, freshwater filter handle and changer. And there's your filter. Then this will allow you to run your hoses down through the bottom without having to have this uh, door open here. Next to that is the flue for your furnace. Couple things on that. One, make sure it's never blocked. And two, if you are running your furnace, steer clear of it, it gets hot. Over here's our propane. It's on a regulator. Lefty Lucy to open up, point it toward the tank you wish to be using, or leave it in the middle for an automatic switchover. Up here's your battery disconnect. That will disconnect all the battery power to the unit. That'll come important later on to talk about your carbon monoxide and propane detector. Continuing down our off camp side, we've got a vent for our microwave, access to the back of your fridge. You just need to get into the water lines. Low point drain, which would be easier accessible when our slides close and we're leaving the campsite. Back here's where we'll dump our black and gray tanks. There's the SantaCon Turbo. We'll talk about that when dumping our black and gray tanks. Extra gray tanks here. Again, our power, some more storage. Yeah, ladder. Utilize it. Go up there a couple times a year. Check the seams of your roof and caulk as needed with recommended RV roofing caulk. There's your backup camera. Your accessory hitch and tow reins and information for that. Come around our campsite. We've got our big outdoor kitchen. So we press down on these at the same time, and that will release this. Pull that out here. It'll come quite a ways out. Got our griddle. We got some storage here. Outdoor sink. That's your extra gray tank on the other side. Now you have to push these both down to get this to go back in. Usually takes two hands. Press them both down at the same time. Make sure you keep this strapped in for travel too. It's going to keep your top from falling off. Make sure you're locked in. Spare tire manual crank. Got a manual crank up front. Move that. A couple of outdoor speakers. You can set a TV out here. Here's your cable in 110 for that. As well as vacuum system. Right back behind here. If you pull down on this here is where your bagging system is for that. We have a black tank flush over here. Another low point drain. Right there. Troma water system. I'm gonna send you a separate video on this, specifically from uh, makers of Trauma. Another spot to plug in your spray port. 
Over here, those are just access panels to a lot of your plumbing and electrical. Grab this handle here. That'll pull this TV out here. Once it's out all the way, you can swivel it. Magnetic lock on here. This is caught in there. Swivel this right out. Make sure you push that back in there for travel. Make sure it snaps in there good. Push that right back up in there. There's your cable 110 for that. This is set to motion right now. You see if I'll back away from it, it'll go off. And then when we move, Turns on. This is a temperature reader. You see a few of those throughout the unit. Helps the thermostat work right. Other side of your propane here. Extra tank. Up front here is our generator and our batteries. Check your batteries every now and then. Make sure those haven't wiggled loose over time. We'll start your generator up when we get indoors. That about covers everything out here. Let's go take a look inside. All right, before stepping up inside here, one thing I want to mention on these steps, bringing them down or up, make sure your exterior door is all the way open. Otherwise, this can catch on it. Coming up inside the unit, first thing I always like to point out is the fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone is camped with it knows the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway in case of emergency. Up and to our left, as you come in the doorway, is your control panel. Let's touch that. We'll go back to home. Let me show you from home. You can do your climate, which is your heating and cooling, your lights, check your tanks, your slides and motors, or look at your energy. Or over here on the left, we can go through them individually. Down at the bottom, this is interior lighting, exterior lighting, or both. Another spot to turn on your water pump. Then these correspond to this. I'm gonna start you at off. Next one, pair. Get the J Command BM Pro app on your phone. Very cool, you can do a lot of this from out, outdoors on your phone. Pair, pair your phone to this, awning number one and awning number two. We will extend and retract here. When you extend these, only extend it until you see that flat fall down to 90 degrees if you hold that button down that will continue to run itself out and start running itself up backwards so keep an eye on it when you run it out make sure you don't run it out further than you need to I'll go ahead and run both of these back in real quick show you the other one retracting here I got my awnings in. Show you also down here you can do your slides. One, two, three, and four. So coming up here, let's start at the top, go to the first button. Let's go show our tanks. That'll show when our tanks are full. There's a fresh water one to keep an eye on when you're filling that potable water up. Next one's gonna be our auto leveling system and our slides and awnings. Anything with motor on it, you can control from here. We'll utilize this when bringing our slides in. Next one would be temperature. Here's our main. Shut that off. Our AC was on. There's also a second AC. Turn that on back here. And a third AC, which is your center one here. So that'll cool it off in here quickly. You can change that to cool or fan high and low shut that third AC off go back to second AC off first one here you can change that cool to heat as well I'll leave that front one running a little warm in here next one's lights best coolest thing about all of your lights is I'll show you with your kitchen dinette they are all dimmable Simply by sliding your finger up and down this line. 
So very cool there. All of your lights are dimmable. Let's check your tire pressure and last to show what kind of power you're running off from. That well, covers everything on there. Let's go ahead and continue here in the kitchen. Another temperature reader. A little half bath. Make sure this door is snapped open for travel. Check your plumbing now and then. It's mostly pecs nowadays, but you are bouncing a house down the road, so just remember to keep an eye on things. You have a vent you can open here and a fan you can turn on. Turn around the kitchen, you got your big residential fridge, separate manual on that. Self-explanatory microwave. Does have a light and a high and low exhaust. Your cooktop, turn that to high, press it in. And when your gas is on, there they come. Here comes your flames. Get some gas running through the lines. There they all go. All right, so we got our flames there. Same thing with the oven. Shut these all off. Turn this to that flame, press it into light. Panel light and oven light. Seeing the lights and AC you can control from here. Another spot you can turn on your water pump. This is extra drawer that they took out when putting in your dishwasher. There's also a fresh water button here. Turn that on here. Down below in your storage up front is a uh, fresh water bottle. That'll turn on the drinking station for this. So you know by now your entire dinette will slide. Unlocking here. Moving that to where you want it. And you can lock that in here as well. Couple of USBs there. Dinette lighting. Start to show you TV working on this side. There's that one. Uh, this TV, as you see, we'll store up and down in here. Bring that back up. Next to that is some accent lighting. Power inverter. Remember, only use that if you want to use one of your plugs and use an appliance. It's going to give you a thousand watts off your battery right away. So use it sparingly. As soon as you're done using it, shut it off. Here's your AquaGo water system. There's your on, there's your eco, there's your off. I'm gonna leave that off. Coming up here, I'm gonna show you, both your sofas are turning into a bed. Separate, remove your cushions. They're velcroed onto the back. I found standing in the middle gives you good leverage. Lift that up, open your legs out, pull this whole thing towards you. Watch your head as you're doing so. Pull it back down. Just that quickly, you have another sleeping quarters. You can do the same thing on this side. Opens identical. Just make sure when you're putting it away that you lift this back up first. Otherwise you could really damage your sofa. Again, standing in the middle gives you good leverage. Makes it easy for one person to do. You turn your cushions just that quickly back to a sofa. Now our sofa up front is a recliner. A power recliner. Put your legs out. Turn on the accent light up underneath. Turn on the heat massage here. Or set here. And turn on our television. So it's an insignia TV. You go through that and set everything up. 
below that we got a remote for our JBL sound system so that's got three different zones turn it up from here uh, a shut it off in here up front or outside or all three so nice sound system here and lastly our fireplace not just for looks anymore I can make the light brighter or dimmer but the biggest thing folks is the heat turn the heat up on this um, instead of using your gas in the in the mornings if it's chilly use their electric and it'll get it toasty in here in no time and you can save some gas all your remotes will be put away nicely up here is some more accent lighting usbs 110s your other reclining sofa we'll put down our tv our other bed sofa excuse me TV goes down, another temperature reader, USB is here. This is a plug in case you have to hook up a DVD player or whatnot in here. Heading back to our bedroom. I mentioned here you've got another door to make sure that you secure for travel. The one on this side. as well as this one make sure these are snapped back good so then i guess swing open and closed on you while you're going down the road oh, difficult to do one hand to some of these things but we'll get it on there and then next to our bed control for lots of lights best part is you can be laying in bed at night and realize oh I can shut off all my exterior and my interior lights from one button. A little storage underneath your bed. Those are your fold away chairs and the drawers that they removed in order to put your washer, dishwasher in there. There's also your vacuum system attachments. Again, your dining chairs that fold up. Another TV in here. Come back into our bathroom. If you have a max air vent, simply hit on. That will open up and turn on. Then you can individually lower open completely the fan or change the fan speed. Four different speeds there. Hit off and it automatically closes itself. More plumbing to maintain. Just keep an eye on it. Underneath both. Very important door to make sure that you have snapped open for travel. If that's up and this glass doors are bouncing around as you're traveling, they may break. So keep that snap there. The seat will fold against the wall. Next air vent there. And that about covers everything on the inside. It's act like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up. I like to come to my control panel here. Touch number one, that's going to shut off every light that's not an individual light. So I'm going to walk through the unit now. Shut off all the lights everywhere. Store this in a safer place. And then we'll close the unit up. Alright, so I've went through and I've shut off every light except for what I can control from here. Go to the main control panel. Go back to home and let's go to motors before i start running these slides in i'm going to say doors and drawers go through your unit make sure all doors and drawers are closed nothing's going to impede any of your slides from coming in make sure uh you have everything out of the way over here these slides utilize every inch they can let's get everything out of the way come to slide number one and hit retract 
be one of our living room slides up there. We'll run these slides in from a couple different spots so you can see how these different ones work. Number two will be our kitchen slide here. It's okay to hear that noise. That's just the slide mechanism saying I'm in as far as I need to go. It's not anything grinding or anything hurting your slide. Now let's go down here to slide number three and hit retract down here. That's gonna bring our bedroom slide in. There's right there, slide three is retracting. Even though you're doing it from down here. Let's throw up slide number four. Just gonna bring our other living room one in. Got our slides in. Shut off our lights and exit the unit. Next in the unit, again, emphasizing on these stairs, make sure you have this door all the way open. Set these up inside. Before you leave the dump station, and I say that in case you want to go inside and check your levels while you're dumping, make sure you lock and deadbolt your exterior door, lift and turn this handle for travel. That's how you want your door for travel. If we are out boondocking, get up underneath there and pull that low point drain right there. Through your fresh water tank. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to start your generator. Simply pull back on this, lift that up out of here, come over here to the left. I'm going to start by priming it, see that light on. Just that quickly, you got your generator. Lock right there, put your door back on. All right, for the campsite, we're going to hook our power, our water, our cable. We come to our auto leveling system. Make sure our, everything's clear. Turn that on and we're just gonna hit retract all. Retract all is gonna bring up our auto leveling legs. You just set the front toward where you want to get your vehicle up underneath it. Hook up your hitch and head on up to the dump station. Now at the dump station park accordingly. Your dumps are going to be behind your tires on your off camp side or your driver's side of your tow vehicle. Get there, arrive. Hook up your hose here and pull your black handle. Now, your black handle is going to be your sewage. Once it sounds like that's no longer draining, leave that black handle open. Grab the hose at the dump station. Come up here and hook up to your black tank flush. Turn that hose on. Again, emphasizing with your black handle open. Let that run for a good five minutes. That's gonna wash all the nastiness out of your black tank. When that's done, remove that hose. Make sure all that washout that you just put in there has drained. Sure it has, close that black handle for your gray handle. That gray handle is gonna be clean the waters, your sinks, your showers. Once that's done, go ahead and remove that hose. Come all the way here to the back. And start with our black tank back here. 
when that black hand was no longer draining come on around to this side to this black tank flush again making sure that rear black handle is open turn that on let that run for a good five minutes washing that black tank out when that one's done again make sure all the water you just put in there to wash that out has drained and once it has close that black handle and pull your gray handle that's gonna be cleaner water as you sink your showers that'll clean your storage hose out for you when that's done get up in here and store your sewage hose right in there last thing we're gonna do we're gonna come up to your off campsite here open up that low point drain and let it all drain out and then head on home again we thank you guys so much for your purchase hope you enjoy this pinnacle for many years to come Happy camping.